When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Thursday, September 19th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. The primary 2025 Baxter tax levy is set at a 5.5% increase over this year. There is still an opportunity to lower the levy before the final number is approved in December. Council members are content to see the city's tax capacity remain almost flat, even with the increase. Managing Editor Renee Richardson has all the budget information in today's e-edition and at BrainerdDispatch.com. The Brainerd man who assaulted a Crow Wing County Sheriff's deputy in February was sentenced to four years of supervised probation. Paul Austin pleaded guilty in June to felony assault of a peace officer and gross misdemeanor attempted assault on a peace officer. Other charges were dropped as part of the plea agreement. As part of the conditions of release, Austin was ordered to follow all recommendations of his comprehensive assessment in regard to whether he can or cannot consume prescribed cannabis. Find more case details in today's Dispatch e-edition or online. Brainerd man Troy McFarland was sentenced on two separate assault cases in Crow Wing County. He entered into an agreement to plead guilty to felony domestic assault and gross misdemeanor assault in a June 2023 case. The following year, he agreed to plead guilty to felony threats of violence with reckless disregard for risk in a case where a woman was assaulted with a crowbar. His sentences in both cases were stayed for five years while he serves supervised probation. Reporter Tim Spire has more on the cases in today's e-edition and at BrainerdDispatch.com. Those in Brainerd's downtown special services district will have an opportunity to contest any assessments during a public hearing set for October 21st at City Hall. Public hearings will also take place that night for those with 2024 nuisance assessments and residents assessed for the recent South Brainerd reconstruction project. Find all the details in today's e-edition or online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 30 years ago today, in 1994, the Dispatch reported that an attempted escape by three juvenile inmates from the regional detention center was foiled when other inmates released the handcuffed staff members and put out a call for help over a police radio. Staff suffered minor injuries when they were overcome by the would-be escapees. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Be sure to tune in later today for Dispatch Sports Wrap with Rad and Hop. They'll have a rundown on local sports teams. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Here's the forecast for the Brainerd Lakes area on this Thursday. Partly to mostly cloudy skies are expected today with some breezy winds out of the southeast as well. Afternoon highs hit the low 80s. Strong thunderstorms look to be developing along a cold front then that's pushing through in the afternoon and evening, bringing the potential for damaging winds, hail, and an isolated spin-up or two. Otherwise quieter weather then returns for your Friday with plenty of sun and highs in the mid-70s. Rain showers and cooler temperatures then return as we head into the weekend. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Daly. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.